For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. So, you say, probably the way you put it if you think this way, is, well, I agree with the libertarians about, you know, 90% of the time, but uh, fill-in-the-blank issue, government needs to spend money on X because Y. Well, the thing you need to keep in mind is that the authorities... Once they've processed your information, are only going to, they only will act on the pro-government part. For instance, if you want to see immigration restrictions increased or border controls increased, they'll, they'll happily do that, but they will ignore the other 90% of you, the other 90% of your views. That's at least my theory on how it works. So you get, maybe... Maybe you have, uh, you know, uh, 350 million Americans who are, uh, you know, and then you average them out and the, the total comes to 55 or 60 percent pro-freedom, if we're lucky. When that gets processed through the government process, that whole 55, 60 what thing just disappears. And the only part that moves forward is the 40 to 45 percent anti-liberty thinking that is perhaps within the average American. And you wind up with a government that is 95% anti-freedom. So that's why I think it is important. It may seem puritanical, purist, whatever, but I've tried to purge every last percent out of myself. So for instance, in the early aughts, I would have been considered uh, pro-military to some extent. But now I'm not even in favor of spending money on Mother Teresa or... Colin Powell or Bradley Manning or any of the people who might be thought of as qualified good causes. Uh, not government money anyway. No taxpayer money should be spent on any of these people. Uh, or anyone or anything. Because I know if I were to, if I maintained my support for, for instance, I, I was pretty, pretty sympathetic for the, uh, the government intervention in former Yugoslavia. Well, if I continued to have that position, then how can I ask you to give up your support for your favorite government program. And how can I know that the net effect I'm having on the country is pro-freedom? It wouldn't be. If I was pro-freedom on every issue except the American presence in Bosnia, that would mean I was having probably a negative impact on freedom in America. Especially if that's the only issue I was active on. And it was in the 1990s. I wasn't active in trying to reduce the government in any area. I was only active on Bosnia, the one area where I happen to favor government intervention. So I'm the perfect living example of how this works, or rather doesn't work. That's why I'm asking you, whatever it is you still like, whatever government activity funded through tax dollars that you still like, whether it's border enforcement or uh, killing terrorists or busting meth rings or Medicare, Social Security, please drop your support for it. It's an act of aggression against your neighbor to support that stuff because they're the ones that get forced to pay for it. And it's the only part of your activism the government is going to sympathize with or, or act on, probably. Almost better to do nothing and be in favor of nothing. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. <laughs> That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.